Hi, this is Michael from Digital Product Pro, and in this video, we're going to cover how to use SEO Press. Now, to begin, first off, what is SEO Press? It's a WordPress plugin for SEO optimization. And three reasons I really like it is one, it's affordable, two, it's user friendly, and three, most importantly, it's effective. So this is the homepage of SEO Press. And if you go in the description of this video, um, there's a link in there if you wanted to check out this page. One thing I wanted to point out to you uh, before I go into you know, how to use this plugin is I wanna go under pricing. And uh, this is kind of the main difference I see. Uh, look at the pro version, right? $39 for unlimited sites. Very important here, unlimited sites. Let's go now to Yoast, which you know is the most popular, you can see right here, Yoast. It's the number one WordPress plugin, right? They've been around for a really long time and they can make that plain. They uh, make that claim. They have millions of people who've downloaded this and used the free version. But look at, look at the premium version, right? Get Yoast SEO premium. One site is double the cost of SEO press at $89. And instead of unlimited sites, look, if you wanna do 10 sites, it's $756.50 a year. So I understand you might only have one website, but if you have multiple, this is really important to consider. SEO Press, you get everything all included. You can do as many sites as you want. That's what I really love about it. So now let's go over to one of my client's sites and I'm gonna show you a more in-depth tutorial of actually how to use SEO Press. All right, so now I'm in my client's site, the back end of the WordPress editor, and you'll notice at the bottom here, I have two versions of SEO Press. One is the free version right here, and then right below is the pro version. So in order to use the pro version, that's $39 for unlimited sites, what you first need to do is install the free version. As you see right here, the pro version of SEO Press required free. So first I wanna show you how to do that. So I'm just gonna go in your plugins section on the sidebar here, you wanna be under plugins and click add new. And what you're gonna do is go in the search bar to the right here, and you're just going to search for uh, SEO press. Oh. And for this example, you're gonna see right here, the top one, for me, it already says active because I've already installed this and have it activated. So um, now I'm gonna go back to plugins. Actually, you can do it right from here. Once you get this installed and this says active, you wanna go to um, SEO Press. And if you decided to get the pro version, this is where you would download it from once you, you get into your account. And it's very easy to give you a download file and they give you a code uh, to prove that you, to basically to validate that you have actually purchased this. And once you get um, in here, you go under license, you would in install the plugin here, and then under license, you put in your license key here. Um, and it's pretty easy. Um, if you have any questions at all, their support is very good as, as well. Um, it's a pretty small team compared to Yoast, uh, but I've never had any problems with them. They always uh, reply pretty quickly. so. Um, uh, you can just reach out to them if you have any problems getting that installed. But once you have everything installed, um, now we'll get into actually the, the function of SEO Press. Now we are looking at the homepage of my client site that I've been using for an example. If you watch my previous video on on-page SEO optimization, this will look very familiar. As you can see here, the main homepage, the main title of this site for my client, it's a CPR uh, training company. They offer uh, Orange County CPR classes, right? That's the main keyword, the main focus of the homepage of this site. So. As you can see here, if you're not familiar with this editor, this is the Divi editor right here. Um, you can actually look at it in a live view as well. Uh, but uh, for now, I'm gonna go back to the block editor here because I believe you can only see SEO press when you're in this version. Uh, but what I'm gonna do to find SEO press is simply just scroll to the bottom here and right past my content here. That's the end of the content actually on the web page and the, the SEO optimization plugin uh, starts right here where it says SEO. 
Okay, so I'm going to go through each little section here and explain to you the, uh, what this stuff actually is. So first off, to begin, I'm going to scroll a little farther down, and what, what I want you to do is put in your keyword right here. As you can see right here under content analysis right here, um, oop, just shut that down. Let's open that back up. So you can see I put in target keywords. This is how you're letting SEO uh, press know, hey, what keywords are we going after here? So for me, I'm just going, for, for a homepage, I'm just going after one keyword and that's Orange County CPR classes. So I put that in there. And uh, what you can do, what I recommend, you put in your keyword and then go up to the top of the page and click update. Okay, mine's already done, but when you're first doing this, I recommend you put in your keyword, then scroll to the top, click update. Okay, so I'm gonna go back down. And you can see right here, um, when I put that in, this, this section down here will let you know if you have your keyword in your H1, your H2, your H3, and this will tell you if your meta title and meta description um, are optimized correctly. As you can see, I, I have green checks on everything, so it's all good. Um, so how do you know what is all this stuff? What it, What is the, uh, we already went over H tags in, the, in a previous video, but what is the meta title and the meta description? Let's go over that, okay? So we're gonna scroll up here, and right here at the beginning of the plugin, the title and settings. As you can see, it's highlighted in blue here. Uh, this is what's going to control what your actual Google listing looks like. As you can see, this section right here, um, hopefully you can see right, right where my orange cursor is right there. As you can see, that looks like a Google listing, right? They're giving you a preview of what your Google listing will look like. And uh, this is exactly what mine looks like when, it, when it's searching Google. And it ranks on the first page for Orange County CPR classes. Uh, so what do we have here in the title first? Well, they, they give you an option where you can simply just click these in here and put post title, separator, and then your site title. That's what I always recommend you do. Um, for each page, you always wanna do the post title containing the keyword of what you're trying to go after. Um, then use a separator. I uh, recommend just the dash here, the straight up and down, cause it can save some space, uh, but you can use whatever one you'd like. And uh, you always end every uh, title with your site title and that's for branding purposes as you can see here Orange County CPR classes separator a hero for life that's the name of the company okay so that covers our title and as I scroll down here you can see they uh, that our meta title target keyword keywords found in meta title Orange County CPR classes was found one time perfect Let's go back up. Now the meta description, right? At a hero for life, we provide Orange County CPR classes at your desired location. We are certified CPR, BSL. I won't read the whole thing. You, you can see it there. But why am I getting the green check there at the bottom? You know, for the for the meta title? Uh, where, there it is, the meta, meta description. Uh, your target keyword was found in the meta description, Orange County CPR classes was found in the meta description. As you can see that, you want to put your keyword in the title and in the description. As you can see, I have it right here in the description too. Okay, so I hope you're understanding how helpful this plugin can be and giving you this nice optimized checklist here of everything you need to do. Okay, and I just want to draw your attention here. The only reason that this is saying include your keyword and your permalink the only reason that's saying that is because this is the home page, all right? And as you can see here, uh, even though this is the permalink is uh, Orange County CPR classes, it doesn't show it here because it's just the home page. So it's just the main URL. So please, if you saw that red check, that's what that means. Just because it's a home page, it's kind of, it, it doesn't apply to this because it's the home page. Um, everything else you can see is in green checked. Um, so moving on, we've covered this setting now, the title settings. So let's move on to advance this section. Okay, as you can see, I don't have anything applied here. This, if you want to, um, uh, 
make this not applicable to your sitemap, meaning Google won't index it, you can check this box. Do not display this page in search engine results. So if for some reason you had a page that you wanted to hide from search engines and only maybe deliver to people that opt into your email list or something like that, that you just wanted to keep private, this is a way you can do that under these settings. Um, and you can go through the rest of these. Uh, you're most likely not gonna have to probably check any of these, but I'll let you go through the rest of these on your own. Um, and they're pretty self-explanatory. Uh, moving on to social settings, as you can see here, this is what this, uh, you know, give you a preview of what it will look like in Facebook and Twitter. I'm not, I'm not a Twitter user myself, so Facebook is kind of the only one I concentrate on this. But you can see this is, if we were to post this link in Facebook, this is how it, it would appear in someone's news feed. Okay, moving on to redirection. If for some reason um, you wanted to, when someone hits this page, you wanted to redirect them somewhere else, this is where you could put uh, the URL where you wanted them to go. Um, I don't want to do this on this homepage, so this doesn't apply to me. And the last one here on the end I really wanted to draw your attention to, very powerful, is the video sitemap. Now, uh, we already went over in the last video um, the importance of you know on-page SEO optimization. As you can see here, I have one video I've added in so far, and this is a video that we had you know, specifically titled Orange County CPR classes to match our H1 tag on the homepage, right? We want to have those be uh, word for word congruent. Uh, you wanna match the keyword phrase in your H1 tag and your video, right? The title of your YouTube video. And this is where you just go, whenever you, you know, put your video on YouTube, you simply go to YouTube, grab the URL for your video, put it in there. Uh, put in your title exactly how you titled it in YouTube, the exact description you gave it in YouTube, and you can upload a custom thumbnail, which is uh, required. Um, here are the dimensions down here. Um, and you can put in you know, the duration of how many seconds the video is. And uh, I don't put in video rating or video count, but I do put in the tags. As you can see, Orange County CPR classes, Orange County CPR class, and I put it also in the, the uh, brand name in here, a hero for life. Uh, so that's all I put in there. And whenever you make changes uh, to any of this stuff, make sure you scroll up here and then you click update, right? Always click update if you make any changes. So after that is all done and you've made changes on this page, what I highly recommend you always do is over here on the side, right here um, under SEO Press, you're gonna see a lot of different options uh, pop up here, right? I know this stuff can kind of be confusing, but uh, one I want, really wanted to draw your attention to um, is XML slash HTML sitemap. So if you click on there, and what this does is it links it to your Google Search Console. And I'm going to be covering Google Search Console in the next video. I didn't want to include it in this one because I don't want to bring too much confusion and try to cram too much information into one video. So know, where, know in this playlist, the next video is going to be Google Search Console. So if you have any questions, please refer to that video. But once you have that set up, what you can do here is every time you get in here, I recommend you flush the permalinks and what we're gonna do, because I already have um, my Google Search Console code connected and validated in this website, what I can do is right here, ping Google manually, right there, the one in the middle, and you'll notice when I click this, what's gonna happen, right? Opens up in a new page, and you probably can't see that text right at the top, but it says sitemap notification received. And what this does is it notifies Google Search Console that you have made updates on your website. So this is how you're, you're basically raising your hand, you're, you're pretty much giving Google a call and saying, hey, hey Google, I just updated my website. Can you make these uh, changes in, you know, for search engine results for better search engine optimization, right? So I hope this isn't confusing. Um, that's about as simple as I could make this. And remember, in the next video, we're going to be going over how to uh, view, uh, we're going to view your sitemap right here. And that's just taking a second to load. And I'm going to show you how to take this sitemap 
and how to put it in your Google Search Console. So when you make updates or you wanna index your website, I'm gonna show you how to let Google know that your website is up and that you've made changes. So uh, we'll cover that in the next video. Thanks so much for watching this entire video. I really appreciate it and I hope it helps out your marketing. If you'd like my personal help to rank your business website on the first page of Google for the keywords that your ideal customers are searching for every day, then please don't hesitate to give me a call. My number is 949-233-6861. I also highly encourage that you visit my website, which is digitalproductpro.com, which you can find in the description below. Thanks so much, and uh, I look forward to connecting with you.